Hey everybody, today we're going to be comparing the two only dual fuel micro lights that I'm aware of uh, in 18350 and CR123. These are the Surefire M340 dual fuel turbo and the Rain Micro 3.0 dual fuel. This is a Streamlight HLX. It's rated at, I believe, 1,000 lumens and just under 28,000 uh, lux. It's the handheld version. And it's running on an 18650. This is going to provide a comparison for us. The HLX is pretty ubiquitous. Uh, a lot of people have it and like it. The Rain Micro is rated at 1,000 lumens for 40 minutes or 100,000 candela. And the Surefire is rated at 650 lumens for 45 minutes, and it's rated at 100,000 candela. Surefire also provides us the rating of 55,000 lux, and 350 lumens went on a CR123, and Cloud Defensive does not provide us with any kind of CR123 data except to say that it'll be greatly reduced in performance as compared to the 18350. So I charged up some 18350s. These are the Vapcell A11s. I like them a lot. They're, without getting too much into batteries because this is a light review, they are the most consistent 18350 out there uh, and kind of a successor to the YDL 18350. Anyway, without further ado, I wanted to also share these lights are roughly the same size. Due to the mounting lug uh, attachment profile, the Surefire is about a half inch further towards the muzzle than the Rain Micro, and they're roughly the same length. The Surefire is maybe a quarter inch shorter. They weigh almost the same with the Pro M-Lock mount in place. The Surefire is five ounces on the dot, battery included, 18350. And with a Torrent Africa mount, the Rain Micro, battery included, comes in at 5.4 ounces. So there's a 0.4 ounce difference, and that's both with clicky caps. And without further ado, here is our Surefire Turbo Mini. You can tell this thing just has a ton of throw. Our targets are 100 yards, and it barely catches both of them on the on the outside edges in that hot spot. Here, by comparison, is what another 350 lumens gets you with our Rain Micro. You can tell it has much more spill to it. I'm going to go ahead and superimpose the beams on each other. That's the Surefire. Adding the rain. Rain. Surefire. Rain. Surefire. Okay, so what's up with this... Uh, 1,000 lumens for 40 minutes and 650 for 45 minutes uh, from the same battery, same size battery. If, you're, uh, if you can math at all, uh, that math don't math. Uh, so there, there's something going on here. Okay, so Surefire and Cloud Defensive both use, oh, I'm going to butcher the abbreviation, uh, but it's uh, FLSI or um, something like that. Uh, anyway, the standard is 10% output when the light drops below 10% of the original output. So both of these lights are dropping at about 10% of their output um, in that 45 and 40 minutes respectively. But I want to show you something. And again, these are on 18 350s. I want to show you something. The rain is on the right and the surefire is on the left. And we clicked them on at about 4 minutes and 45 seconds. And 
You see the throw looks pretty close to identical. The rain just has a lot meatier beam to it. That's where your lumens went with the cloud defensive product. They went into that spill and slightly larger beam profile. Like I say, the Rain Micro 3.0 on the right and the Surefire on the left. All right, we've had these lights on for one minute now. There's our rain. There's our surefire. Rain. Surefire. Notice a little bit of difference there. The rain very, very aggressively steps down its output. Very aggressively. That may or may not be a factor that is important to you, depending on how you use your light. The rain tends to stabilize right about the point we're at. The head reaches 105 degrees, according to my IR thermometer, and that's just kind of where it chills out. The Surefire, on the other hand, stabilizes according to my lux meter at about 15,000 I'm, I'm sorry at about 25,000 lux higher than the rain does at according to my meter 55,000 lux versus 29,000 lux they've both stabilized at this point with a 18350 the surefire head will be about 99 degrees and the rain head will be around 104 to 105 degrees at this point. But they're not going to get really any dimmer than this for quite a while. They've both stepped down as much as they are going to step down. Until the surefire has a little more punch and the rain has a little more spill. All right. That's something a lot of people may or may not consider when they look at these lights just quote unquote on paper but i think it matters i think it's important uh, to be aware of the output runtime profiles if you will so what about dual fuel that's important that's why we're that's why we're looking at these lights really is uh they offer a dual fuel capacity in case you forget to bring your spare 18350s, you want to just rob another piece of gear to get back in to what you're doing, whatever, whatever the case, you want to dual fuel. So, uh, these light heads are still warm, but it shouldn't affect them with the CR123, really. Uh, they tended to not really fluctuate when I ran them on CR123 on my Lux meter. Anyway, here's the Surefire on a CR-123, and here's the rain. Surefire on the right, rain on the left. The rain was clocking about 45,000 lux. The Surefire nailed their 55,000 lux rating. That's just according to my lux meter. Neither one of them dropped out uh, on the CR123 really after several minutes runtime, and the IR temps uh, stabilized below the threshold in a uh, 72 degree house. Um, when I was metering temperature versus lux output, uh, the heads were able to pull away and shed enough heat to where, like I say, they just didn't drop out any on the output with CR123. Anyway, there you have it. I really hope that this review has, that's the rain, that's the surefire, rain, surefire, rain, surefire, targets are three meters apart by the way. Anyway, I really hope that this review has been <laughs> enlightening, yeah. Anyway, y'all go out there and be safe, okay?